you're doing well. A couple of thoughts. I had several students last week and two of them back to back had two of the most extreme body positions <clears throat> that I've ever seen in a in a negative sense. Uh, one of them, uh, actually interesting uh, contrast, um, and, and both of these positions were actively, I'm, I'm looking at one of them right now, uh, both of these body positions were actively leading to pain. They were actively leading to each of these players trying to manage their pain by using some kind of brace. Uh, one of them was a wrist brace, the other one was a, a forearm or like an elbow brace. And both do, the root cause was due to a really aggressive negative body position. One of them, body was completely inactive and so the arm and the hand had to be extremely active in order to hit a decent shot. And the other one, the body was active, but the hand and the wrist was just like, just going nuts and just very overactive and a huge snapping kind of motion, which has been promoted a lot over the years. Is a whole kind of like snap your wrist kind of kind of thing. It was on a serve and the inactive body was on a forehand with the with the arm having to be very very overactive. So the overactive arm on the forehand was leading to bad tennis elbow, and the overactive wrist on the serve was leading to to wrist pain. And these are both players, probably similar to yourself, if you follow me, um, in their 50s, may maybe early 60s, and hoping to play tennis for a long time into the future. They're coming to see me because they want to refine their movements, their skills, their habits, so that A, they can, of course, play better, have more fun, and, and be more uh, fulfilled by their tennis game because they feel like they're more successful. But also, these are players that love the game and, of course, would love to play for another 10 or 20 years. And that just will not happen. It cannot happen if the small parts of your body are overactive and it's causing pain. And anytime pain starts happening, it's almost always for that reason. It's because small parts are overactive, meaning they're having to shoulder too much of the workload of accelerating the racket. And when you do that again and again and again and again, then those small parts get taxed, they break down, and they start to hurt, and eventually they'll become unfunctional if you just continue to pound at them again and again. So just reason number 700 why I, I find myself almost exclusively, and I'm starting to almost feel like um, so much for me in my coaching recently has just all been boiling down to let's use the body more, let's use your, your arm less. Let's use the body more, let's use your arm less. And I, I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to like question myself and almost kind of like wonder, is am I oversimplifying this? Is this, is this, uh, is there more to it, you know, than this? And of course there's, there's nuances to it depending on the student and their unique habits and their, the unique ways that, that they move their body. But I'm almost kind of like questioning myself, like, it can't, how, how does student after student, stroke after stroke after stroke after stroke keep boiling down to this? And I'm, I'm starting to like come to the conclusion that it's just the most important thing. It's the most important thing for performance. It's the most important thing for the quality of the results. It's the most important thing for longevity of your game and longevity of your body, being able to maintain this athletic activity day after day, week after week, year after year. It's just the most important thing. <laughs> it's the most important thing if you wanna hit the ball hard. It's the most important thing if you wanna create spin. If your body is not the engine and your arm is not just flowing and, and smooth on all tennis shots, then all of those things become very difficult. So I don't know. Hopefully people don't don't get too bored of me uh, continuing to go down that rabbit hole, but I just, the more and more and more I, I look at the slow motion and I watch and um, I look at what's happening and I hear the struggles and I, I hear the desires and like the goals, I just keep coming back to it again and again. And, and uh, it just seems like such a crazy common thread through the game of such a huge chunk of tennis players. It's really becoming very profound to me how incredibly common it is and how incredibly important it is. And yet it's just, 
I don't, I just don't think it's emphasized enough in general across the board in tennis coaching and guidance and teaching. There's a lot of coaches out there doing fantastic work, uh, but there's a lot of symptom management. And I don't just mean the physical pain and like the braces, but there's a lot of symptom management and technique as well, like focusing on the follow through position, um, focusing on using small parts of the body and the, the big parts are inactive. So anyway, if you want to ditch the braces, if you want to ditch the, the pain, it's, it's, I, almost, I can almost guarantee it's coming down to, to this topic. So pay attention to that. Record yourself. See how you're managing your movement. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.